Alrighty, well, you probably thought that I was uh, going. Uh, I just slipped on cow crap. But you probably thought that I was going out in the boat, but actually, I was just launching my dad off so he can go and see if he can find some bass out on that lake. But I'm going down to the spillway. As you can see, this right here, that big hill right there, is actually the dam to this lake and this spillway right here at least last time i was down here i went down and just explored a little bit just to see what all was down here and well probably based on uh by the title i saw some pretty big gator gar at least i'm pretty sure they're gator gar didn't have a whole lot of time to look at them and obviously didn't have any of my bow fishing gear but today i've come back prepared down to the spillway uh with my bow and I'm hoping that I can actually, well, there's a spillway, and obviously I'm not going to be able to see any gar in that area, though I'm sure there are some, but further down, this creek right here, as you can see, it goes on for like five miles. There are a lot of uh, little shallower, crystal clear pools full of gar, so uh, I'm just going to hike down this creek until I can find something that looks more promising. No gar in here. I'm pretty sure that this little area is where I saw them last time. And it was insane. They are just like gar the size of me just lined up in this little creek bottom. But since it's been freaking hurricaning in Texas, bet this water's flowing. Oh, is that? No, that's just a rock. Oh, there they are. There they are. Big old guard just spooked off from right there. You see the dirt that he just kicked off. Okay. There's already sort of like a little natural barrier here. Oh gosh. So I'm going to try to add to this just to discourage them from swimming down this way. I'm not sure what good it's going to do. Probably nothing at all. So as you might have noticed before, uh, I did not have... Oh shoot. Oh, that's just a stick. I do not have the traditional uh, bow fishing gear out today because, I don't know, it's just such close quarters and there are such big fish in here. At least I saw last time. So instead of having my reel attached to the little brackets right there on my bow, I have it attached to, like, this, oh. I have my arrow attached to like a 6'8 heavy with 65 pound braid. So I might be able to horse these things up on to dry ground. Alrighty, so I got the GoPro on my head. Probably looked like a retard, but I spotted one of the decent sized gar right underneath that little overhanging limb. So I'm gonna try to walk around and see if I can't shoot it in the head. Nope. Got him, got him, got him, got him. He popped off. Oh. All right, there's a little gar over here. I'm not seeing any more of these big ones. I don't know where they went. They probably went underneath the bank somewhere, but I'm going to see if I can get this little guy just because I can't resist. Little guy right there. Let's see what happens. All right, there he is right there. Just a little thing. Got him, got him, got him. Stay on, baby, stay on. Ooh, precision shooting, that thing's like four inches wide. Alrighty, first gar is not what I was hoping for, but it is definitely a gar nonetheless. Look at that. Awesome. All right. Let me untwist this and get him off. There we go. Throw him up on the bank and try to get his parents. Suck! There's nothing. Oh! Oh. 
snap, I took out that stick. 